Oh, there we go. There it is. Mm. Feel it? There we are. Feel it? Feel and it? You can tell. Here's the giveaway. No alt-right Cody. Because there's oh. a No alt-right Cody. You think he's getting there some heat are. for that Univision thing? You think he's getting some heat? I, man, if anyone can avoid it, it's him. If anyone knows how to get out of the kitchen, it's all right, yeah. Cody. <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. He looks so good, Trump. <laughs> he looks so good. I don't know how it's all going south. He's so alpha. He's so savage. He's a fucking alpha savage. He's a savage, bro. He's fucking savage. Just Let's fucking... wait for that. Wait, wait for that last. There it is. Boom. Here we are. What's happened, everybody? Mm. Welcome to Ramble, the Ramble Podcast, a Geeks Guide to right. Pop Culture. That's uh, it. We are the Geeks. This is Ramble Radio, our mm. supplemental episode. Ramble Radio 464. Sure. I would be one of the geeks. Comedian, cancer fighter, man's man, Jerry Rocha. Right there we have mm. the one mm. and only. Mm. Eddie Pence, also comedian. Man's woman? Woman's man? Man's woman. Man's man. Woman's man. Man's woman. Woman's man's woman. God's gift to women? Fuck. If God's you're a man's gift man, to the ladies, and you're a woman. What are you a woman's man? Could you be a woman's man? A woman's, a woman's What's a woman's man? man? That's a great. Or a man's question. man's woman. A man's I woman. That's a great. By the way, since you're here, subscribe to the Ramble five star rating, positive text review. If you do don't it. do those things, we're gonna you're think you're a chump, fuck. and nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants. Us. Chump. Ramble at the Ramble Pod. Mm. Twitter at Podcast Ramble One. Instagram at Podcast sure. Ramble. We have our YouTube page, the Ramble Two. We have our merch page at T Public. Yeah. Come on down. There we go. Do, do all it. that. I do. I do want to. Eddie, let's start with this. Yeah. Normally, this is reserved for regular Ramble, but you yeah. got a cool little action figure in stock today, dude. I totally forgot. Back in July, Walmart does their Collectors Con every. I don't right. know. If it's like. Right. Triannually, whenever they do it, it's every few months, and I never even I heard of this thing. I never even heard of this thing. It's just literally online, and I you, I just come across it because I'm scrolling on Twitter right. or Facebook or something. Right. Like, oh fuck! And I click on the thing, and I guess it's it Walmart. Ordered. Yeah, and I gotten these guys. Uh -oh. That is uh, oh Vince, Vincent R. Falcone and Quarrel. I never and even heard is... of these. Are these new characters? Uh, Falcon, Falcon, I've heard of. I've heard of Falcon. Falcon or uh, Falcon? It's Falcon. Well, his, his code name's Falcon, but it's Falcon. That's right. Okay, right, right. Vincent so Fal is, so it's Falcon. 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 But Wasn't he Coral, Duke's kid or some shit? No, Duke's little brother. I don't know if he was Duke's or is he Flint's? Flint, maybe. Who was the main guy in the movie? Was it Falcon? That that fucking Don Johnson was the voice of. That was. All right, we're gonna look it up. Hawk or Falcon? Hawk was Dennis Quaid, wasn't it? No, I'm Who talking about the it? the animated movie, the good. Oh, movie. the animated. I thought you were talking the about the only movie awful worth live a action fuck. movie. No, the only movie worth a fuck. Uh, we're gonna find out right now. Uh, that was uh, Hawk, wasn't it? Hawk. Was General Hawk. Hawk. Why is it not Don Johnson? No, Lieutenant Falcon. Don Johnson, okay. Lieutenant there Falcon. And Don I thought Johnson. he was. Let's see. I thought he was. Wasn't he Duke's like kid brother or some shit? Yeah, he's a younger half brother of Duke. In okay. the comic books, they are unrelated. There right. it is. So they can uh, they can fuck in the comics. They can well they they can fuck anyway. They're just well, half brothers. Half, that's true. And but you cool, can't, dude, I don't know. can't get another dude pregnant. That's true. That's the good news. I don't know who Coral know is, but she's she's got some similarities to Scarlet. She's got the throwing yeah. stars on her sleeves, and she has she comes with a crossbow. She looks cool. But you know so what we know need? If, can, do you mind if I, I'm stretching out my shoulders? Do you know you what know, we need, though? What enough need. bullshit. Give us Pythona. Enough's enough. Right? How about we enough's just do enough. Pythona? Stop We're dicking around, Pythona. Hasbro. Quit fucking with us. Pythona. Ryan, now, I know. We, I know. Wait, they're, Ryan, they're I know, is a, he's they're a Marvel, Marvel Legends, guys. but he's got to know somebody. He has to somebody. know somebody. They have right? to have friends. Do you think it's so last time, <laughs> Do you think they last show up it's like war? Do they hate each other, you think? Yeah, down, down it's the like hallway? a fucking rivalry, a, de a, de well, a deadly rivalry. At Comic Con, we were standing around looking at the at the at the Cobra Rattler, and we were yeah. looking at a guy who we thought 
happen to be working for G.I. Joe Hasbro. If you saw our our Ramble Radio recap of Comic-Con, you will see us talking about this guy. Holy shit. I'm still worried about We thought about he him. worked. And we're like, hey, do you know Ryan? And he was yes. like, no. And then he handed us stickers for the fridge. Because like, he, he looked whole life, official as he looked official as fuck. We both, the and, way he was standing around that that display, we both thought he worked for Hasbro. What else is he? What else could he have been in our eyes? He had such an authoritative, like I belong here, con artist move. Air and a about special it. lanyard. It was like that's got to be a the lanyard, lanyard for the people like, that oh, work at Hasbro. Here. And instead, he was just handing us. And I thought when I first saw it, I was like. Oh, they're making the fridge. That's what I thought. Right. I thought he was out there doing some publicity. Hey, we're this the new figure coming out. Coming. We're we're making the fridge. Then he was a very psychotic individual who was making his life's mission to get a fridge, six inch GI Joe classified figure made of the William Fridge William Perry. Before William Frigerator Perry passes on, dies. That's the goal. Like, doesn't the fridge want to get in the Hall of Fame first? Fridge is laying on his deathbed, diabetes riddled, I'm sure, waiting to hear get word. <laughs> Wouldn't he rather get the call? Hey, you're in the hall. You made it, Fridge. You're in the Bears Ring of Honor. Maybe he already nope. is, but Wouldn't it be something if they have the cameras set up on the bed, just like they did with Mongo McMichael when he got in the Hall of Fame, that all the loved ones are standing around the fridge. And they uh, they bed, and that guy and they runs get the in phone call. <laughs> And they think they're they think the Hall of Fame's calling, but he comes running. He's like, "Great news! You're going to be a six inch GI Joe figure." And then he's, he's like, "What? How many times do you think the Fridge's family have told that guy thank you, but no thanks?" Let's be uh, honest. Sh- if we there's had probably the, a restraining really, order involved. There's probably a there restraining has order to be. Involved. I mean, and and look, no offense to our fellow nerds, we're among you. But oh sure. When you're the weirdest person anyone's ever seen at a kind of fucking comic convention. If you stand out at a Comic-Con, above and beyond all the other weirdos at Comic-Con. If you're the weirdest dude. Okay. Oh, God. All right. So we, let's go back to Stan Lee's Kamikaze before it became LA okay. Comic-Con. Yeah. That's our new episode. You know what? Today's episode is Comic-Con yeah. memories. When you were there, do you remember, remember that guy? We saw that dude who had the fucking booth. And he looked like a serial killer. He was just he looked at around his paint. It was his paintings, right? He had paintings. Wasn't it just paintings? He had like Funko Pops too. Was it Funko? But he was just sitting there, just, just by himself, there. and like wouldn't acknowledge anyone. It was just there. I I I don't know what would happen if those two met. Are we looking at Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow? Like what? Is this can they can they coexist in the same space? I don't think does so. I physics think allow them to coexist on the same plane. Does 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 our reality implode? If those because he was touch. just sitting, that dude was just sitting there, just in a chair with no table right. or anything, just sitting in a right. chair with some Funko Pops on a shelf behind him and some paintings. And he was selling shit. Like yeah. he wasn't he wasn't just a hey, it wasn't like hey my buddy was like hey this is my booth can you watch it for me while I go take a shit like he was just there <laughs> though he and had the energy he, of a guy who's just like oh there's an empty chair I'm gonna sit down for a I'll while that's the energy down. he was and so I don't know who is who is more <laughs> of a like okay Eddie I'm gonna give you a hypothetical all right okay pitch black dark okay all right you're in you're in a comic con. You can, right. you, there's no light and your eyes will not adjust. Okay. Okay. It's pitch black you, on the floor <laughs> of a comic con. 5 million bucks cash is yours. If you make it the night starts make at seven night. o'clock at night, they pick you up at eight in the morning. Okay. Okay. Let's go and seven to seven. Giant. Let's do 12 hours, seven, seven to, to seven. seven, 12 hours. All right. It's an LA convention center. I mean, it's, it's, it's San Diego comic con sized. Okay. Yeah. You Doors are locked from the outside. Downstairs, you just can't go outside. You can go anywhere in the facility. Right. But five million. You, the only problem is you know that one of those two dudes is in there with you. It's <laughs> you know. I mean, there's a chance they never there's bump into you. Right. Now, do do but, we make it spicy and give them night vision goggles? 
I was thinking that the serial kid, the guy with the posters has them already. He has them already. Now, do you do now? Which one do you pick? You pick. You're picking. Okay, which one are you alone with? The refrigerator the, guy or the guy sitting by himself in his booth trying to hawk Funko Pops? Guy. Which one do you pick? I'm going with the fridge guy. I think so too. I think he, he just, was crazy, but not dangerous. I don't think. Well, I think he, with dangerous, if you're like, why would you make the fridge figure? If we had said that, I don't know what would have happened. Yeah. So I think he's friendly to the point where you go, but wait, why the fridge? Like, if that's all you said, you're dead, I think. I think he would fucking snap and kill you and eat you. <laughs> now we know the poster guy will kill you and eat you regardless. He's yeah, he's he's uh fucking what's his face from Sin City? Uh what was the Elijah Wood's character. Elijah Wood from Sin City. Yes. He's well, literally yeah, yes. crawling Just, on the walls. Right. He'll that, eat you, I think, he'll eat I your think hand I gotta off. Go the, I have to go the fridge guy too. I have to go the fridge guy as well. Now for an extra five. I'm million, not happy. Oh, so we're no. talking ten. For million. an extra, so for ten million, okay, you have to stay in the same situation with, but yeah. this time you don't have a choice between the two guys. It's the dude from the booth; he's in there with you. For ten million, you have to have Rook move with you and get him through the night alive. You have to deal with that dude giving away your location constantly because <laughs> so he's constantly telling. To those who don't tell- know, to those who don't know, Rook move was a guy that Eddie and I met. Uh, our first, and boy, was that my mistake. When we went to San Diego Comic-Con together our first time, our mission was every morning we'd get there at like 4 and then wait in line yeah. for the Legos. Until, wait in line for I don't the think Legos. the line started until 8. I think that's eight. when they opened the line up. 7 or 8, but it was a long 3, 4-hour wait. I remember, and we, we would do the buddy system. I would run and get us like some breakfast at Starbucks, right? Yeah. Eddie would hold the place. But what, and goddamn, this is my biggest fucking mistake. My biggest fucking mistake. <laughs> I see this guy in front of us, and he has a Dallas Cowboy lanyard. I get Ugh. excited. You do the sure. same. You would do the same thing. Uh, it's yeah, your I probably would. And you'd go, hey, it's like a brotherhood. Uh, yeah. If you saw a yeah. guy with commander shit on, you'd be like, oh, I, I go, hey, what's up? I go, my hey, what's all, up? All the way in San Diego, you see a fan oh, of your sure. team yeah. from two thousand. I can't miles fault away. you for what you did. Can't fault you for you what say, you did. Well, I now you can. In hindsight, I, sure. Because I, st- I strike up a conversation. Oh, fellow Dallas Cowboy fan. And he's like, oh, yeah. He was like probably in his 50s. And I don't know if he was a Dallas Cowboy fan, which is way more worrisome, or if he was a Jerry Jones fan. He I think came off as weird. more of a Jerry Jones fan. I think he was, and he was with his wife, and he was an asshole to her the whole time. Like, Eddie the and I whole are time. he's taken some swings. Like he ignored her. He, she was right there. She, she, she didn't even. He never introduced us to her. Never said. And like we would have to sh- talk to her to strike up conversation. Right. And then he. Like, and she was always walking her, behind him. Yeah. She was always walking right. behind. Always him. behind him. And when the and then so a guy in front of him. We were all there for the same thing. We're all there for the Legos. And he was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And, and the guy was like, well, I don't know where I'm going to put my Lego. And it was all oh, Rook move. And he opens up his. <laughs> comic-con badge box that was just big enough to fit the lego it fit it so now to his do. credit it it fit it perffectly when you shut it perfect it was a perfect He's way like, to oh, hold him in here but the fact it was some rook move go fuck your He's... mother you go for rook. who the said, fuck are you rook, go, rook, rook, move. Oh, rook move rook move rook move so if he sir okay there's no question that guy didn't get vaccinated there's no oh, question. Yeah. He did not get he may vaccine. Not, if, he may not still be around. He, I was wondering, if he's still around, that's a Or he's in jail Trump, for January no 6th. I'm not sure. Or, right. He's in jail for <laughs> Is he the guy that tastes his nuts on January 6th? The fast out tasting his nuts? Is that guy? Rook move. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're not using your taser, you put it here in your front pocket like that. So <laughs> 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 He's the motherfucker that takes his dead. We uh, wouldn't be surprised. Um, no. And so, so we have to keep Rook Move alive from the serial killer. Yeah, to get that extra five million dollars. The the funniest thing about Rook Move was he didn't get the Lego that morning. Remember that? And he stormed off angry, and he tried to get back in line. <laughs> 
<laughs> he was huffing toward it to the back of the line to try to get back into the line before. <laughs> it's so angry. I was and his, wa- his wife was like a good ten yards behind him, just trying to keep up. Trying, uh, 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 Donald, Donald. Like I, I, I. I okay. When is he... <laughs> when he stormed off, I was half expecting. Cause we both scored that day. Yeah, I was half expecting us to walk out and then either see him just. Sizing up his wife and then giving her a standing drop kick, like right there, or she would just he would just doing the star man her. shooting chest press. Yeah, the kick. Lex Luger torture rack. <laughs> <laughs> <She's just kidding. laughs> he was such a piece of shit. So we got to keep this motherfucker alive. Yeah, I think we should change the rules. You have to keep him alive to get any of the money. Five or ten. I think it's it's ten million or bust. You you if you don't keep him alive, you just get through the night. At that point, if he dies, you're just trying to survive yourself. But to get the right. money, you got to keep Rook Move alive. So if it's Fridge guy, you you know he's gonna ruin that. Like why the fridge? He wasn't a cowboy, and then that's it. He's dead. <laughs> he's, well, why don't they have a Gary Hogaboom? Uh, why, why don't Joe? they have a Why don't they have a Nate Newton? There should be a Nate. Where's Newton, the G. Joe? Where's the Steve Pallor G.I. Joe? Joe? Where's Why don't they have a Pilar Jerry Joe? Jones GI? He should be in charge of the GI Joes. Jerry Jones, General Jones. <laughs> fucking fridge guy snaps his neck instantly. <laughs> he, just fuck, he just grabs his head and just squeezes it until it pops. He just fucking crushes his head between his hands. Like a Friday the Thirteenth murder. Like just a Friday the Thirteenth kill. It's like a Jason Voorhees kill. He does. And then you have to fucking, and in a minute that happens, Eddie, you got to fucking run for your fucking life. You got to run for your life the whole night. Oh, shit. He's guilt by association. You were with this guy. He also, you could be like, I'm a Commander's fan. He's like, no, you want Jerry Jones to be a G.I. Joe. He's fucking. (laughs) You probably want to go Seisman, G.I. Joe, and he just wants to kill you. Right. He just wants to kill you. You took Wilbur Marshall. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) And then. God, it, the only problem with you lose 10 mil, but Jesus Christ, Rook Move is the perfect guy to have if you just want to survive. If you just want to survive. Because he'll get killed immediately, and a Night Goggles <laughs> guy might think his job's done. He might. You know what I mean? You can and hide out the rest of the night. You just run and fucking hide. You just run and hide. Because he'll <laughs> kill him instantly and think it's over. Like, oh, okay, God. <laughs> I got everybody. Uh and his poor wife, Jesus Christ. I hope I've never together. felt worse for anyone. I hope she left his ass. I Jesus, hope I hope she left his ass so fucking quick. Oh Rook man, move. Rook Rook move. Move. well, <laughs> what a what a ramble radio, Eddie. What can I can I end this with something real quick? Sure. Look what your boy scored. It's nothing to brag about, but I'm still going to brag because it's what? not good. But I don't give a fuck. And nostalgia went score? through the roof. I was at Toys versus Games. Nice. Doom, woke, woke. Oh, Doom you. Predator. Not a great game. Not no. even a good game. But no, it's not. I was. So it's up there excited. with Rambo. It's up there with Rambo. Up, I was so excited when this came out. I. So was lost I. My fucking mind. I, ha- I think I was more excited for Rambo for some reason. Yeah. But yeah. uh, but yeah, I was excited for that game too, and it sucked. Because I know we talked that we've talked before about LJN being the kiss of death sticker. Yes. But yeah. Acclaim wasn't far behind. And they they've we, now become a great company. They made well not great. Yeah. They made some good shit, but not. But back really, then, yeah. if Acclaim was on there, you're kind of like, oh, it was like, oh, same as LGN, LJN, and that kind of LJN yeah. territory. You didn't realize it, it was back pretty then. similar. They did it because they had all the cool properties. Like Konami was like game. the only thing where you're like, this is gonna be a fucking great game. If Konami, Konami and Capcom, on, Capcom, yeah. Capcom too. Capcom and Konami. Nintendo, if it said Nintendo, either one of those, Nintendo, obviously Nintendo, Capcom, yeah. Konami. You're like, yeah, oh, they those were all home here. runs. Ain't nothing you to knew worry it. about here. Oh, but well, Acclaim and LJN, you're Ooh. like, I'm going to roll the dice on this and see. Be careful. Now, I hate to do this because we've had such a good time, but we do mm. have contractual. 
Um, <clears throat> Skeletor. We were talking about no. some of our favorite Comic Con memories. Um, yeah. I'm sure, being a quasi celebrity like you are, you've probably done a lot of con autograph booths. Uh, do you have any f- favorite memories from a Comic Con? Eddie, that's a wonderful question. I'm glad that you've asked me. I'm a little peeved. You've somewhat stolen my thunder. Okay? I'm a little upset. Mm. You've somewhat, somewhat, but I was one time approached by a super fan. And uh, it's a, yeah, I know you probably had some questions, but he was a, a fan of whatever you call the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, okay. And he was with his wife, who he was very rude to. And uh, what he Sounds didn't realize familiar. is I made, I made him suck my dick. And he willingly did it. But the thing is, I put a little spell before he I had Evil Lynn cast a little spell. And the more he sucked my dick, the bigger it got. Okay. So he just choked on it. And he died. And I was just walking around with this man's corpse hanging off my, at that point, massive dick. Mm. And then I beat his wife to death with it. With him oh. and my cock. That was a great time. It was a wonderful time. Signed a lot of autographs, but that was probably the most memorable. That was... Uh, that was and uh, that was uh, Eternia Con, and uh, I bet you're wondering. Well, you know, we had we had over a million people that whole weekend at Eternia Con. That's and a lot I bet of you're wondering, well, 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 what's big enough to hold that many people for one convention anywhere? Yeah. Go ahead, ask Eddie. Uh, where? He man's mother's pussy. <laughs> Cause it's so big, you see. Yeah. That's where I dumped that Cowboys fan, a Jerry Jones guy. That's where he is now, rotting in E-Man's mother's pussy. Huh? Yeah. Suck a dick. Yeah, go ahead and suck a dick with a guy who's got a magic spell that makes his dick bigger every time he suck it. Then come back to me and tell me what a rook move is. You fuck! <laughs> I don't know why he's so angry at that guy. <laughs> I mean, at least we have a common enemy. Right, I guess. we found common well, ground. Not anymore. Yeah. I guess. Not anymore. I guess well, we know what happened. I guess we know uh, what happened to man. Rook Move. Cinesnob Cody. Give Cody yes, a follow. Yes, get him Cinesnob on Podcast. There. Five-star rating, positive text review. Get those. Get the Cinesnob Podcast up on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's do that. So Cody can fix the Crocodile Dundee wrongs, the LaQuisha wrongs, all that good stuff. So many Eddie, wrongs. Working all, oh, so many. Where can all the fine folk find you? Uh, five days a week, Patreon.com, The Ralph Report. Uh, there Tuesdays, is. Fridays, Ramble Radio. Wednesdays, Ramble Proper. And then uh, also on Fridays, uh, Not Today with Jen Sturger. Look at that. You can find me in the same Ramble locales. You can find Eddie and Cody. I'm also streaming games. Uh, Retro Rocha on Kick and Twitch. And just my mm. name on YouTube. Find us, love us, subscribe to us. All that Do it. Shit. Most importantly... Thank you for listening. If you know someone who would enjoy this podcast, let them know. I bet you do. The more, yeah, the merrier. And, and even more important, have a fantastic fucking weekend. We're going to be back next week with all new yeah. rambles and all new sure ramble will. radios. So stay safe. We love you guys. Take care, everybody. And, of course, enjoy. Oh, wait. There we but, go. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, yeah. He died of COVID. Okay. No question, right? Oh, yeah. And his wife. He took them both out. And if they they both got it. And I, I wouldn't be surprised. No. The Elijah Wood guy probably survived COVID. He probably got COVID like eight times. And well, you have to be around other humans, I think, to get COVID. That's I don't know if he, that helps. I don't think outside of that con, he's really around he humans. Was already, he was already an expert at social distancing. <laughs> He already had that down, like, to a science. There it comes. Wait for that last, the last one. There we go.